Hi, welcome back to This Off-Grid Life. I'm working on a chicken coop again. I'm not gonna be working on it for much longer because I've got other things to do, but the chickens are gonna be cold this winter if I don't get the poly up around the little enclosure that I've made for them. And yeah, I will show you what it looks like now. I think Katie's done a, bit, done a little bit of a clip in the past about where we're at, but. We got a nice little roof over top of the whole thing. Yeah, so I've got to get the poly installed so that uh, the chickens are nice and warm when we get our minus 20, minus 30 Celsius winter storms with wind. It's the wind that's the kicker. So yeah, I am just gonna pick away at this all day. Congratulations to me. I am officially laid off for the winter and it has been a long, 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 long year for me as I'm sure it has been for you as well. But yeah, my job allows me to take a couple months off at least in the winter, which is awesome because I am full-time working on the homestead in the winter, keeping roads open, building stuff, uh, fixing things that break when, when we're most vulnerable, which just seems to be always happening in the winter. So anyway, I'm gonna get to getting this coop together so that these chickens can be nice and comfortable this winter. covered enough uh, chicken poop that I can feel pretty comfortable to call it a day doing this project kind of losing steam on it too but this is what it looks like so far We've got some supports up here we got the poly on this wall so it's polyed off for now I'm gonna clean up up there and I gotta still put the roof on I'm just gonna put some EPDM rubber and flop it over and then add some more um, braces right here just to kind of keep that poly on nice and at that I'm signing off it's a great day another great day we don't get very many nice sunny days in the winter where we live but the snow is almost gone the ground's not frozen in most parts at least so what I'm doing today is I'm just gonna prep this prep this garden nice and get uh, get the last year's crop pulled out get all the we have the, all this uh, this here is called dull organ grape and it grows everywhere because it's actually the ground crop cover that keeps this hillside together but yeah I'm gonna be taking all of this and getting it all cleaned up and the chickens are going to help me. I'm going to put a bunch of our finished compost that I'll show you what it looks like after it's fully composted, sat for a while, and now ready to be put back into the soil. So, uh, yeah, I'll hook up the camera, get this thing cleaned up, weeded, whatnot, and uh, we'll probably put some chicken poop down too just to get a good nitrogen layer as well. And we'll see how it goes in the springtime. Not gonna lie, it's not a uh, desirable chore to stir this thing up, but 
everything from about halfway down this is all completely composted except for everything on except for the outside but uh, everything on the top uh, it's kind of slowed down because I haven't been paying a whole lot of attention to making sure my carbon nitrogen mix uh, has been proper yeah it's not a very pretty job but usually the compost to kind of slow down in the winter because of the cold though that that being said I think last year the coldest our compost went on the inside was 12 degrees so it still had some breakdown bacteria creating warmth um, but yeah I'm gonna have to uh, I got you know I gave it a bit of aeration so that it didn't become anaerobic I'm gonna take all the extra garden waste that I have put it on top and then uh, yeah, that'll be it for, for the probably pretty, pretty damn close to it for this compost for this year. Uh, I'm gonna have to build another one right here. Oh, it's beautiful. There we go. That's finished compost. That's all of our waste from last year. That's been sitting here for a while. I've turned it a couple times. Mm. It smells <laughs> delicious, which is disgusting for most people because, as many of you know, we use everything goes into that compost. I, I'm sure you can see the things that I was just stirring up. It's 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 kind of gross. It's not really that gross though. Like the sm there is no smell. It really doesn't smell at all. So what I'm going to be doing with all this beautiful compost? is I'm gonna be taking it to the garden, evenly laying it over top of the whole garden, and then just let the nutrients uh, absorb into the soil without doing, without tilling up the soil again. And next year we're gonna have a bumping garden again because the difference between last year and this year, with one, with probably half as much compost as I have here, uh, it was, it was vast. There was a huge difference. But now that I have this to put into there, I have a feeling that our soil is, is really gonna wake up and help us grow vegetables quite well this year. I mean, sorry, in 2021. There's a bunch of buckets of that. That's a lot of compost. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distribute it. I'm gonna break up the, the soil a little bit so that the nutrients can fall into the soil fairly easy. And then I'm gonna cover it. I've got some chicken poop that I cleaned out of the coop. I'm just gonna throw that everywhere. And then uh, cover it with a tarp and leave it for the winter so that when spring comes around, all of that nutrients has been sucked into the uh, into the soil it's nice and moist right now but not too wet should look pretty good when when I uh, when I take the tarp off in the springtime so I'm gonna move some of this around and uh, yeah we'll take it see how it goes Nothing puts me in a good mood just like doing this kind of work. I'm grateful for this place. Um, we've got chickens, we've got a nice little bus that I can't wait to get rid of, really. But I'm grateful for it right now. I'm grateful for everything that's going on in our world and all of the troubles even because, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta deal with some tough situations in order to appreciate what you truly have. Up in the mountains over here, there's a rock crusher. I can hear him crushing rocks. 
it's a loud day on the on the homestead and uh but it's easy to cut it out when i'm doing things like working this full cycle into our garden here where all of this was all of our organic waste from us the chickens our food we actually have chickens that were composted in the compost that are now part of the garden for next year and it's just a crazy rewarding feeling living in this full cycle even though it's a small full cycle right here you know it if you don't notice it you can't appreciate it and you can, and it's really hard not to notice for me because even just here let me tilt the camera down I'll show you when we first got this property we couldn't we couldn't even put a we couldn't even put a, a shovel in the soil anywhere because it was hard packed loam look at how nice that is how arid that is all the sticks and all the all the, the um, pine shavings that I was using for the the chicken coop that didn't compost because wood takes a little bit longer than everything else of course um, but it's laden with uh, with fertility and, and it's laden with nutrients but the soil that we're the soil that we're creating now has the ability to drain which is huge and plants have the ability to reach inside of it now because it's it's uh it's been agitated and worked and, and supplemented and i can't help but just be joyful doing this kind of work thinking about how much great fresh food is going to come out of here in 2021 <laughs> side one thing we do still have all winter long is our chickadees and our juncos haven't come back yet but they've been loving this feeder today I think those are mountain chickadees But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Make sure that you enjoy your time that you have off. Don't be too busy all the time. Bye. <laughs> Camera. <laughs> How do I use this thing? Oh, hi. My name's Greg, and I'm lining up the camera. Ah. Mm. So. <clears throat>